Hello! Today we are going to be discussing how to make snake game. So, by the end of this... Oh, I have it as Bob from the beginning when I was explaining last time. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, we will have a working snake game. All the code can be in the dis will be in the in the description, so you can check that out. And this is what I'll do. This is in Python three, by the way. So if you're in Python two or one, this might not work. So you should check with your editor about that. And of course, if we hit the wrong button, we go back. High score doesn't change, but score does. So that is our working snake game. So today we are only going to be discussing this much. Okay, so this will just pretty much Make the snake head, the apple, the window, and to find some variables. That's all this part will be doing today. So, first thing we do is we import Turtle. Turtle is a drawing app. Or well, before we get into this, this is what our final project will be. We'll have Snakehead and Apple, but we won't have them in the game yet. But we will have a green window. That's all we're going to do today. And in the next video, which will come soon, it will be doing the other stuff. Anyway, back to this. So we have import turtle. So we're importing the module turtle. Turtle is a drawing. Um, it's a drawing library so it's for basic basic beginners who have just started so if you're just starting then I think you should use turtle more often and learn more about it in other videos so now we have importing time time is uh, not exactly more complex but a little different it is used for waiting and doing other stuff with time. Random will be also used later in the code. Um, the part that I just deleted. Anyway, so we have delay, which equals to 0 0.1. So that's what we have. 0 0.1 is the value of delay. Then we have score, which is a new variable we're creating and has the value of zero because we haven't started the game yet high score will also be zero in the beginning of the game setup so in the setup we're creating the window so what this line of code which might be a little confusing at first but not to worry all this does is gives the um, variable window which is abbreviated to WN the value of turtle dot capital S screen in parentheses turtle dot screen is a function inside of turtle which gives window the value of window so this whole window you see that's all because of this that this line of code I think we'll get an error let's try yeah it doesn't know what these are and it gives me an error so we have to define win so now window dot title so the title of my game is snake game by Jedi cubing you can change this to whatever you want like Bob if your name is Bob Jack or maybe another YouTube channel like this if he's ever watching anyway uh get i cubing there we go now window dot bg color is equal to green 
So this makes the background green. And of course this changes this name right up here. Then we have win.setup, which creates the dimensions of the game. So what do I mean by dimensions? I mean like how big the board is. So this is 600 pixels, and this is 600 pixels. So this is a 600 by 600 game board. If I wanted to change it, like if I wanted it to, to be bigger, so maybe like I wanted it to be 800 by 800, sorry, then it'd be bigger, as you can see. I like my game board 600 by 600. Now we have window.tracer. Window.tracer is very, very, very important. And I'll show you why. If I bring back the code that I deleted from before and ran this, but deleted tracer, look what will happen. When we collect an apple, it gives that kind of glitch. So if you like that glitch very much, then you can um, just not do this line of code. But I like my non-glitched and free to go. Of course, if you don't see what is glitching, the game board is glitching. It's getting laggy. And every time we eat an apple, a black square appears out of nowhere in the center. So yes, that is a problem. So I like mine not glitched. So I'm gonna delete that. And there we go. Window.tracer, very important line of code. Next, we're going to create the snake head. Of course, in this video, it won't be printed but we're still going to create it first. So we're going to make a new sprite. And what I mean by sprite is if you do scratch, which is another coding platform, then to create a new sprite, which is like a character. So we're naming this character here, head. And head has the value of turtle.turtle. Remember, this is a capital, not lowercase capital followed by parentheses turtle turtle basically means make a new turtle or make a new sprite or make a new character then we have head dot speed which is zero also the sprite is head so all of these heads all follow to this head so the making sorry I'm saying head too much but the making of the head is zero, which is actually the fastest speed possible. So if this were one, I don't actually know what would happen. Maybe you can experiment with that, but I'm going to keep it as zero and that's what it should always be. Now, head.shape. What this will do is it will make a new shape. So of course, as you saw before, the head shape was a square. So this is a square. Also the color, head.color, was black. So head.shape, parentheses, and then inside those parentheses, we have um, quotation mark. This can also be like this. I like my dub mine double quoted though looks more neater to me you can do any of them but quotation mark either one or two and type square lowercase not capitalized then we do the same thing head dot color instead shape is a different function this is shape and color is another function which is color so it will fill the shape with black you can change this to any color, just make sure that it's a little common, like red or cyan, 
or green and stuff like that because if you do something like maybe I don't know like violet the computer might not know what that means I actually haven't tried violet but if it doesn't work just go to a simpler like purple but I'm gonna keep mine black the default actually default is blue but I'm gonna keep mine black then we have the head dot pen up so pen up is used so if a turtle does not draw anything whenever we're going somewhere which is what we actually do next. We go to head dot go to zero zero. Zero zero in sublime text is the center and that's how in the beginning of the game the square goes to zero zero or in the center. Then we have head dot pen up because if we didn't do that then it would draw a line to zero zero. So yeah, actually sorry head dot pen up and then head dot go to the zero zero and then head dot direction is stop that's why in the beginning of the game it doesn't just start and already go but it's in the stop position and we can unstop it when we hit a button which will be in a later episode when we do buttons then we have food the food is the apple if you like I don't think that they're apples in snake game. I think they're tomatoes. Then you can do tomatoes, but I think they're apples. Not to start a debate on that. Anyway. Anyway. Food is a new turtle. That turtle, which we explained before, is a sprite. And pretty much we do the same thing as before. But we only change these few things. So actually, yeah. You can copy paste this. Okay. And then paste it here but change all the heads to food and then same thing here same thing here food that shape is circle if you like your um food to be a square then you can do that too but i'm keeping mine circle then food that color is red because apples are red also this is circle because apples are kind of circular then we do food dot pen up so it, the pen goes up so when we go to zero one hundred in the next line it doesn't draw a line there okay and then the last line of code we're going to be discussing is win dot main loop without this line of code let me show you what happens look it runs it but then closes it because it ran through all of this code and then stopped. We well, know what we want. We want it to be open. So with this win dot main loop, it goes again and again and again and again. So the window stays open instead of closes automatically. So that is going to be part one creating the snake head and the apples and making the green window. This code will be in the description. See you later in part two.